Hey guys, welcome back to Money Mondays with Melissa and Happy New Year. This year, what I think I want to do is kind of give you guys more stories of things that you can achieve or accomplish and kind of maybe give more of a breakdown in some items to really help people understand what they can do. Because the goal for me for Money Mondays with Melissa is to be able to show people what is achievable, right? So I'm going to use myself as an example when I purchased my current home. So when it came to purchasing my current home, um, I had kind of like two options. Realistically, when you think about it, and I, and I find that I'm, I'm coming across a lot of buyers that are in a similar scenario where you can go to maybe to like the top, top of your budget and do, you know, you'll probably do 20% down and that house may still not be exactly what you want, right? I could tell you for myself, not a lot of houses have what I wanted. Um, or, you know, honestly, what I did was I went a little bit less. And I wanted, and I, I was willing to do work, so I, I wanted a house that instead I felt like the value was there after the work was done. I put less than 20% down, I put 10% down, and I did have a PMI. I wasn't afraid of the PMI because I was getting 10% conventional loan, and I just figured, you know what, whenever the equity was is there, I can just get rid of the PMI on my loan. And lo and behold, guys, within six months after I finished the construction in the home, I was able to contact my bank and ask them to come and do a new appraisal. They asked me for before and after pictures, um, uh, a receipt for work done, etc. They came, they appraised the home, and it appraised high enough that I was able to get rid of the monthly PMI. So that I, you know, at that time I was paying like two sixty a month for my PMI. That PMI was then gone. And I'm so happy I did it that way. The reason why I say that is because if I would have sat there and waited to get like, let's say another 10%, because I was gonna do construction in my home no matter what. Um, but let's say if I would have sat there and waited to get to accrue another 10% so I could make sure I could avoid the PMI, the price of my house would have been so much more for the same exact condition. You know, and, and I we all think about like, oh, well, is the market going to crash? Is this going to go on or is that going to go on? I knew that for myself, I wanted to take advantage of where I felt that it was, I was still in an appreciating market. I was going to buy a home that did have equity in it. So it allowed me to do construction on the home. Um, I knew that I would be able to get rid of that PMI with um, with a certain amount of time. I got rid of it, honestly, a lot quicker than I even thought I was going to be able to get rid of it. And, you know, in the, I was able to take advantage of really low interest rates so that my monthly payment wasn't higher than it needs to be. Because if I, if you know me, if there's anything that kills me, it's where I'm, I feel like I have to, like, I'm told I have to pay for something that I shouldn't have to pay for. Um, who would have thought? So yeah, so I wanted to use myself as an example as we're kicking off this new year, because I do come across a lot of people that are in a similar predicament to what I was in. And sometimes it's worth it to take that risk. I, I have to tell you, I don't regret it at all. Until next time, guys, I will see you on Money, Money, with Melissa.